All right, so the other day I posted a video about stereo versus mono and what you should run in a live setting depending on what factors there are. And even though stereo is beautiful, we talked about several reasons why you might wanna run mono. One of those reasons is that some stereo effects are said to still have phasing issues when they are summed to mono. And so the question is, should you leave your stereo effects and just sum to mono like the HX Stomp does automatically, or should you just go ahead and run mono effects if you're gonna be running mono through your sound system anyways? So what I thought I would do is set up a stereo rig and sum to mono and try different patches, stereo patches, mono patches, and see what the result is. So today's kind of like a, an experiment. Let's go. is that I have a bunch of gear to take inside. I mean, I have all my gear. Look at this. Guitars, camera gear stuff, wireless, power, pedal board, snow gloves. So I have these speakers here. I don't know much about them, but they're just uh, speakers. So shouldn't be any color tone like an amp would be. And there's supposed to be two of them. Where is the other one? There it is. I'm gonna set them up and switch between stereo and mono patches that are very similar, well, the same. They're my patches that are for sale. Go get some. And see what happens when a stereo is summed to mono and see what happens when you just play mono and see how they compare. So let's get into it. All right, so we got two powered speakers powered up. One right here and one over there. They're both coming straight out of the HX Stomp. I got my wireless rig too and I'm gonna hook that up to the guitar so I can walk around and hear what it sounds like. Hopefully it's still charged. All right, so my plan is to hook up, I have a Y splitter for this camera, the audio, and I can pan one left to right and put like a lav mic, lav, lava mic, lavalier mic, in front of each of these speakers to see if I can get, see what each speaker's doing and have it come through stereo so y'all can hear it. Let's try it. All right. Mono, with a mono rig.
revelation on the shimmer setting. Stereo delay and chorus. Marshall mono.
All right, so I'm editing this video and this is the first time I've heard what it sounds like. And honestly, I can't tell a huge difference between running a mono patch and running a stereo patch that's being summed to mono. At times, it sounded like there could have been a slight volume drop in the summed to mono preset, but nothing sounded weird to my ears. Now, I will say I didn't make any special presets for this. I just used my Hey Worship Leader presets and they are intentionally not super wide anyways. Also, don't judge the way they sound here. I was using uh, a lapel mic that I hung in front of the speakers to record this because it's the only way I could figure out how to record in stereo. But if you wanna know how they really sound, you could just check the video out here or or you could just go ahead and buy your own. First 25 people get 25% off, which just makes them $6. You just use the code HWL25 at checkout. And there's still some left, so go over to heyworshipleader.com slash store to check them out. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little makeshift test. It was fun to play through something besides my headphones. I actually want a set of desktop studio monitors, but I don't have a lot of money and I don't want to waste money on a cheap set. So if you have some experience or know of a brand, a, a medium of the line set of studio monitors, let me know down in the comments. I think they'd look good right here, don't you think? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today. If you did, would you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, do all the things you know to do, leave me a comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.